Welcome to another edition of Dan Factoids. In this edition, we'll be talking about Mask Squeeze. A newly certified diver called us on the Dan hotline asking about a red spot in the corner of their eye after doing their first offshore dive. Their diving instructor had rightly made the assumption that it could be the result of mask squeeze and we then continued to explain what that was about and that's what we'd really like to do in this particular factoid series. When we wear a mask and let's contrast a mask to goggles. Goggles don't have a nose piece. A mask covers the nose as well. And the idea is, as we exhale and adjust pressure, breathing underwater, we are continually equalizing the mask as well as our airways to the surrounding pressure. If we don't do that, there's a tendency of the mask to actually suck itself into our face and consequently also sucking on the white part of our eyes in particular. And at a certain threshold, there can be rupture of the blood vessels of the eye, producing a pool or a so-called ecchymosis of the, the uh, eye or the conjunctiva, which can give a very nasty, vampire-esque sort of appearance to the eye. It looks dreadful, but it actually doesn't impair vision under normal conditions and responds very readily to fairly simple treatment over a period of two weeks. There are a couple of things to bear in mind, though, that will prevent or reduce the chances of getting a mask squeeze. First of all, the choice of mask is important. A low volume mask has a far lesser excursion on the face as Boyle's law presses it in and out with pressure volume change. So if you can, go for a small volume mask. Secondly, pay attention to exhaling deliberately into the mask while you dive so that it is relaxed on the face. Thirdly, when the mask is actually fitted to the face, make sure that you don't sort of strap it tight and it really sort of sticks to the face. You want the mask to be tight enough on the face that it doesn't slip off with any movement of the head, but you don't want the mask strapped down so tightly that it automatically actually squeezes on the eye and sets you up for a mask squeeze. And that should be all that is necessary to prevent mask squeeze. Practicing equalizing the, uh, the mask or clearing water from the mask underwater is another great exercise that you should do anyway and it is another way to ensure that there isn't undue tension on the eyes during diving. And we hope with those few tips it will be possible for you to get a comfortable mask and to avoid eye squeeze. If you do happen to have a redness of the eye or a red sort of spot in the eye after diving, we do encourage that you send us a picture to the Dan hotline or that you consult a Dan diving physician. It doesn't necessarily occur and the big thing is really just knowing how to manage your mask. Thank you for your interest, subscribe to our channel and we look forward to seeing you next time at our Dan Factoid series.